wonder if these two Impala are going to hold off. You're going to be alright there, Craig. Is that going to be good for you? Let's see now, there we go. There's our two Impala males that are just having a little face off now. I wonder if they're not going to clash horns. You can see the male at the back is slightly larger. He's got a much bigger set of horns, but it seems that they are about to square off. And I always love when male Impalas are, are fighting like this. You find there's like lots of licking of the lips. There's lots of head shaking. They lift their heads every now and then. And you can see they're very alert as well when they hear birds making noises. Because during this phase they're so busy fighting that they don't watch what's going on. And so they become very, very susceptible to predation. And so when they hear a Franklin call or any other animal make a noise, they immediately are watching and looking and checking what's going on. But isn't this interesting? You see the smaller male of the two, the one that's closest to us, has actually been pushing that other male back the whole time. Now, even though that other male's got bigger horns, you might find that the one closest to us is slightly stronger, and they've already had a few bouts, and he's been pushing the other one around. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. And now they're going behind the bush. Don't go behind the bush. Of course, the rut is in full swing, and so this is why this is happening. And I haven't seen any females though, so I don't know who they're fighting over. Maybe they're just having a little scrap just to see who's going to take this potential area if any females do come around. Craig, I think let's go forward so that we can get the bush out the way. We can also show our wildebeest friend that is in front of us. So he's just sitting and this is the same male that we often see. Oh, our vulture is doing its wings. I don't know, Craig, if you're going to be able to get that, but let's see. Unfortunately, we are dealing with the roof, like I say, but there we go. I just now I was talking about how they open their wings up to be able to dry them. So there's a prime example of its wings nice and open. It'll face, hopefully the sun will come out. It is clearing up really nicely, and so it'll end up with some dry wings just now. What a clever vulture. Well done. I wonder if the other one's also going to do it. But it becomes quite difficult to balance because with those wings out, obviously they catch a bit of wind and it becomes a little bit harder. So I do apologize if there is any sort of sign of the roof. It's very, very difficult for Craig because I have got the roof and the angle that we're at at the moment is not ideal. So I'll try and reposition, but I just did want to show you the wings being out like that since we were talking about it just now. All right, Craigie, let me get you into a better place. And there is our wildebeest friend straight in front. It's a beautiful specimen. Oh, where are you running off to? Don't run away. Very nervous. And the impala you can hear is shouting, but I think that's more a case of it's seen the wildebeest run and is now a bit worried. But let's go forward and check. You never know. Maybe we get lucky and something's actually here. What have you seen, impalas? The impalas are definitely snorting a, an alarm call, but sometimes they just see another animal run and then they get a bit nervous. But I do know Shadow has been hanging around here, so I want to just stop and just check. But we can see the impalas are off to our side, are facing straight at us. So whatever they've seen, if they have seen something, it must be in this general area. And I'm scanning around, but I don't see anything yet. What are you looking at, you two? The wildebeest is quiet, which means the wildebeest hasn't seen anything. I think it's just the impala saw the wildebeest running towards them and they thought they saw something and that's why they've shouted. You can see there. Oh. Interesting. I wonder what is here. Maybe there's something around. I think we're going to have to search and just check. I want to check in this little drainage line because this is where Shadow often spends time. And maybe, just maybe, is there not something behind us, Craig? Can you see? I can't see anything. I want to just check around here and just make sure. But definitely something has spooked this lot. Let's